when you were younger and started out, I mean, of course, today you're a successful CEO of a successful business and as you say, you're a, a, an entrepreneur inside inside that business, innovating and so on. But when you were younger, how did you think? How did you develop this philosophy? Of course, working at Virgin sounds like it had an impact on you, but where, where did you... What were you like when you were younger? Did, a lot of my audience are younger. I'm just trying to help them understand perhaps the path that they could take. Yeah, look, um, I, I think um, it's interesting. Uh, I, I, Growing up in New Zealand, New Zealand's a long way from the rest of the world. I think you, you often talk talk about New Zealand as having this, um, you know, more entrepreneurs per capita in New Zealand than any other country in the world. Um, and I think that's partly the sort of necessity is the mother of all invention. You know, when you're so far away from markets, you sort of have to think differently. So that's, that's a big part of my, my DNA, um, you know, growing up in, in New Zealand. And I think um, there's a, uh, this might make sense to anyone who's not a New Zealander probably in, on your audience, but I'll, but I'll share it anyway. But we have this concept of um, you know, a New Zealander can do anything with a piece of number eight fencing wire. Um, now that's, I'm not sure if you know that, um, what, what that is, but that's the wire that um, you, you connect your different fences around your farm. Um, and, um, you know, that, that idea, it's a bit like uh, you know, using a piece of duct tape to do anything, uh, maybe, but uh, that, that culture is, is really ingrained in most New Zealanders who are used to trying to figure out how to get things done in a smaller market. And I think it's played, played quite well, not just for me, but for for um, other New Zealanders you know, on the international stage when you have to be quite um, innovative to figure out how to get things done in different environments. So that, that would be, I think, how I would describe it. Um, from my perspective, I, sort of really in my DNA from an early, early age, um, I was always looking for opportunities to try different things, open to new ideas. Um, so you know, leaving New Zealand in my early 20s, um, a lot of that was to do with getting out, taking taking opportunities. So I moved to the uh, the US first, moved off to uh, the UK, then other other markets around the world. A lot of that was sort of opportunities that sort of just seemed to come my way. And I think um, being open to those things, then then you sort of maybe f- see more opportunities. So you've got to be. Yeah, so I think luck is a big part of that, um, but you've got to have a, a mindset that's open to trying different things in the first place. I think if you if you're closed, um, you yeah, know that's probably um, you know how how you sort of miss opportunities. You've got to be you've got to be open to it first. That's what I'd say to young people is um, you know be be quite open about you know, seizing those opportunities and and you know. The, you generally find that good outcomes will come as a result of being being open to ideas and, and opportunities. Um, yeah, so that's probably the big thing I would say. And and I think at a young age too, don't think too much about the long term too early. Um, you know, I think there's a, a danger that you coming out of university, you feel like you've been in the school system forever, and you want to just get on and, and start being successful. But but actually, if I look back. I had a lot more time than I probably realised. Um, so I think I took those opportunities and it ended up pretty good. So I would say that to, to young folks. 